the climate it does not matter to anyone no one gives a shit anymore it's old news and as dj would say it it's fake news it's all fake news it's phony stuff it doesn't exist the planet gets warmer who gives a fuck the world's on fire oh my god who the hell cares the world is about to explode no one gives a fuck. I recently watched a video of a footballer called Neymar Jr. Decent footballer, but obsessed with the smell of money. He, he, he ruined his career to go to a team that is terrible and then stayed there for too long because he was on like a million or something silly a week. Something ridiculous. And basically, he got in a huge plane, a 747, the ones with like a thousand seats on, just to get him, him, him alone, to his new football club. Once I saw that... I start to realise that actually washing out my tins of beans and cycling things in order to save the planet does not matter. No one cares. The rich people are the ones who are doing this and I said, F*** this. I'm not going to ruin my life because they want to do whatever they want. However, people have a bit more passion than me, aren't they? And they're lazy. They have a bit more desire and a bit more oomph to change. Now, I gave up my ability to change probably when I was 11 when I realised no one truly gives a heck of Becky about it. You have rich people and as long as the rich people are still around, I promise you this, I tell you you for certain no one is gonna change the world will keep getting worse ever since i was a kid it's always been getting worse and it's not got any better today we had something oh my god something so magnificent something so crazy that it just summed it up we had normal people these police officers basically run over these protesters these protesters were you know these climate activists were blockading a road in nevada trying to get the uh, message out there you know in probably one of the hottest states around the heat is bad the heat is bad wash out your teeth in, stop driving cars and so what did they do in typical fashion they drove a car into them now me personally i'm here for the views man i'm here for the views i like to see drama we're gonna watch it now so uh play that shit oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my Now, that shit was just incredible. Uh, if you were paying attention, a local policeman, and by the way, a very fat policeman, a very chunky policeman, you know, your typical sort of sits in the office eating donuts, shooting at the range, in Nevada as well, and he just basically said, you know, they're protesting the environment, which, like I said, <laughs> disgrace. Imagine wanting to live in a place that's safe and secure and not wanting to destroy your planet. It's almost like living in a house and not wanting to flood it. It's fucking bananas. But anyway, as you can see, they're all protesting. They've got something in the road. Now, I'd just like to point out here to me, there's a clear left and there's a clear right. You can clearly drive round them. I would drive round them. That's a great idea. They've not, they're not very smart protesters either. They've not really thought this through. I would just personally drive round, not through. You see this little space on the right here, this huge bit of like deserty grass shit from Fallout New Vegas? That shit. You see that massive hill up there? I don't know where it'd take you, but I'd drive round. Well, the police officers over there, they're a bit thicky thumb thumb. They don't have much of a brainy dum dum. Now, with company property, so government property, they've knackered the front of the car and took out the Segway. Now, the woman sat on it, obviously got sent the other way, as you probably do. That's how motion works. I Isaac Newton and then he scuffed it again trying to turn round so clearly the adrenaline's gone to his eyeballs here he's a little bit of Larry Mary fucking hell dairy and then he goes for round two he's going in to just kill them but then stops he suddenly goes actually I'm a police officer I can't do that I know I, I have a badge and a gun I can't actually run over someone that would be illegal they don't understand their rules slightly and what goes on so fair dues to them well played I like you know this guy has 50% of a brain after this they obviously get arrested they're just sat there this one's got a uh, you know a bit of a power crave going 
he, he he's really hurting her now as you heard from the audio she's like in pain this guy's dressed like a power ranger you know proper hat on glasses got a bat on he's breaking her arms and shit like that like this is embarrassing you have to admit if this is the sort of force you have to use on someone who's unarmed protesting you'd be kind of embarrassed I mean look at that guy's belly the fatty monkey donkey Jesus Christ how white they're like two clones as well two fat larder marders just sat there scratching their dingle she's obviously a legs kit if you're not sure if you saw that as you can see here her leg I believe is connected to someone's art I'm lying. Her, the close one, is connected to her arm. I've just worked that out. Slow brain, slow brain. And again, just takes them out. That woman just gets flung. Like, Jesus. I just don't understand, man. I don't understand, man. Why? You don't just drive around. People are so small-brained. So they're blocking traffic into a festival. It's like the idiots who do, you know, just oil. I've already made a video on them, but they're idiotos because they're, they're hurt, they're damaging, like, the, little, the people who it matters. So in order to stop pollution getting into the atmosphere, let's make mile-long roads blocking it so they can't get into the festival, which will mean loads of emissions get done out because you've got to have your cars on because Nevada's hot. <clears throat> Nevada's hot, boiling in fact, and they've just decided to block them. Extinction Rebellion, as dumb as their name is, it sounds like a final boss battle, doesn't it? Or like his grand plan, I won't do Extinction Rebellion. It's embarrassing. Huge long queues, they were trying to get into a festival, and this dude had just had enough. I believe he's been a bit of a mong, I truly do. Now I, I you know, there's a mile long, I don't know why they just go around the sides, kind of. Look, hold it, he's holding his gun there. That's just tragic and embarrassing. He needed a gun to do that. I think he's got a bit confused as to what he's doing he's meant to be arrested and not pleasing himself but anyway we're, mo we're moving on the message is clear we fucking up this mess uh, this planet and see most people don't even give a fuck just move the fucking mess you're holding up a line hold a gun up to a face and takes it down if you want to cause change you have to use violence now i'm not inciting violence i'm a good boy i don't believe in violence but this is what happens if you don't use it someone else will okay if you want to change the world you have to get it at head first now if you enjoyed it leave a like if you, do you want these do you want these mohos being banned and blocked kicking them off the street into jail where they belong and I'm talking about the police officers or do you want these activists put in prison in jail where they belong for causing disruption because goddamn I want to listen to Miley Cyrus at the Nevada festival without sitting in my car for 12 hours trying to get there it's a joke it's a goddamn joke